Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Travis Dykes. So excited to be back. I had a couple of weeks there that I was uh, under the weather um, and I had a cough that I couldn't really shake when it comes to doing YouTube videos. And I also just started traveling just a little bit and I just had been having to get my life together when it comes to my schedule. But no need to fear, I'm not going anywhere. And actually, today I want to introduce you guys to a new series that I will be doing here on my channel, which is called Show Me That. Basically throughout this quarantine, we've been kind of going through, you know, just being sucked into social media, like because we can't really go see any concerts. We have to like watch live streams. We have to watch, you know, people going live and all that kind of stuff. And so social, social media has been really, you know, at us. And so I've been on the social media just as much as everybody else. And I've noticed like that there's so many bass players and so many musicians out there you know, they're showcasing their stuff, killing it. And I know some, for some people, you wanna know how to play these things, figure it out, what are they doing? How are they thinking? How can I do this in my own playing? And so what this series is gonna be doing and what we're gonna be covering are different clips from Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, anywhere on social media that are cool grooves or licks that we could learn and put in our playing. So without further ado, the first clip that we're gonna be learning is by a guy named B-Dub. He is a, one of the grooviest, nastiest bass players on social media right now. I've been watching this guy for a long time and he is literally one, a huge inspiration. And so we're gonna be learning one of his grooves that he was doing at his church, City of Refuge, out in Los Angeles, California. If you guys want any of the loops, tabs, tracks, or any of the supplemental things when it comes to any of my lesson videos, feel free to check out my Patreon page, which is linked below. Thank you guys so much for your support. So without further ado, why don't you grab your bass and we'll jump into the lesson. All right, so here is the groove. I'm not even gonna lie, that groove is nasty. When I first heard that, I was just like, oh! And then the guitar player came in. Oh my gosh, uh, it, it was just like, oh. This groove is so locked in. It's, and it's actually quite simple. But the big thing about this groove is the space. When it comes to really any groove, the space is everything. If you have no space in your groove, then it's probably not locked in groove is what you think it is. You have to have some space there. So what, what you notice in this groove, there's a ton of space. So after he does the space, space, you see that? And so, and it's actually very simple. The way this groove starts off, first of all, it's gonna be in the key of D flat uh, minor. And so if you don't know D flat minor, that's D flat minor. So the way this groove starts off is gonna be chromatically from the D flat to the B, or numbers wise, the one to the flat seven, chromatically like this. All right, that's the first part. And then right after that, we're gonna go into this shape that is, a, it's gonna be the flat seven and the flat five. All right, so you get this. Simple enough. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this shape and go down chromatically. A lot of chromatics happening right now. So we got, and then we're gonna go down chromatically, chromatically again. All right, and when we get to this next one, we're gonna do a D flat minor triad starting on the five like this. All right, so you get this. Okay, and what's probably going through his head is like, is that this right here, this triad, okay? This is, um, you let, if you take this, just these two, this, these two notes right here, the five and the um, flat three, and you put it right here, 
you could walk it down to it and it kind of has a cool sound. And so honestly, if I was me, that's what I would be thinking in my head. It'd be like, and it le it's leading me to that minor in the right time. So that's the whole first part. And what happens after that to end the groove, what he does is flat seven and one or B and C sharp. So you have this. And then the second part and the last part is probably the easiest part is you're gonna be going up and this is where that churchy kind of sound starts to come in is uh Now we're going, we're dabbling back into uh, the major side of uh, D flat. This would actually be D flat um, mixolydian, which is like this. And basically what we're highlighting is the flat seven and the major three. And that's really what makes a, a real, get that mixolydian sound is you have this major three and this dominant seven or this flat seven. So when you play this side of the scale, um, it will be, it's, it's almost like you're playing the five of F sharp major. So and when you think about your patterns, it's like, you, it's almost like you're grabbing, you're borrowing from the key of F, F sharp, but you're taking it from the five. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too deep into this. That for my advanced people, you know what I'm talking about. For my people who do have no idea, don't worry about it. Just know that we're taking the flat seven and the three. We're highlighting the flat seven and the three because that's not what's in the minor scale. And it gives that churchy sound too, the major churchy sound. So watch this. So we got. So now what we're doing is doing a one, two, and the chromatic up to the three. And so for my uh, letters people, it's just D flat, E flat, E, and F. Then we're gonna go pentatonic scale. If you're wondering what position we're in. We're in the key of C sharp major. And so if we thought of our C sharp major right here on the E string, if we go down what one position, it should be right here, the, the uh, be the position right here, which is the minor pentatonic, the relative minor pentatonic, which would be B flat minor pentatonic. So now what we're doing when we go to it, we're taking from this B flat minor pentatonic. All right? And then we're gonna end on the flat seven right here. Okay, so we got this. And then back to the one. And then to end it all off again, flat seven, one. So now the whole lick's slow, the whole groove slow, really. So check this out. And that is the whole groove. If you have any questions about any of the things that I covered in this video, feel free, hit me up on my Instagram or drop a comment below. Also, feel free to go check out B-Dub and his channel, his YouTube channel, and also his Instagram. He is a BC does lessons and he is awesome. And also, if you haven't checked it out already, check out my Patreon page where you can get um, and support support this channel and support me getting videos out weekly. So don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when the newest videos are uploaded. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.